Russia has increased its bounty on an Estonian-made robot that is being used by the Ukrainian army if it is captured when it is still intact and undamaged. But the manufacturer of the robot said that he wasn't worried about this development. This of course shows how important the use of robotics and AI is in the military. The robot in question is called Themis, which stands for Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System. It is a medium-sized unmanned ground vehicle that can be equipped with different payloads, such as weapons, sensors, or cargo. It is designed by Milrem Robotics, a subsidiary of the UAE-based Edge Group, and it has been sold to 16 countries, including eight NATO members. Milrem Robotics has delivered 15 Themis robots to the Ukrainian forces, who have been using them in their operations against the separatists in the Donbass region. It has been used for various missions, such as demoning, frontline resupply, and fire support. According to Milrem, the robot has proven to be reliable, versatile, and effective in the harsh conditions of the war zone. But not everyone is happy about Themis. Russia, which invaded Ukraine in February 2022 and still occupies about 18% of the country, has been trying to capture or destroy the robot. In fact, a Russian think tank called the Center for Analysis of Strategies and Technologies, or CAST, has offered a cash reward for anyone who can bring them a Themis in relatively intact condition. The reward was initially 1 million rubles, or about $11,000, but it was recently doubled to 2 million rubles, or about $22,000. The reason for the increase, according to CAST's director Ruslan Pukov, was to counter a statement by the Estonian intelligence service that linked the think tank to the Russian intelligence service, or FSB. Pukov told the state-owned news agency RIA Novosti that the bounty was not a sign of espionage, but rather a way of stimulating scientific research and innovation. He said that Themis was a unique and interesting product that could help Russia improve its own robotic capabilities. But why is Russia so interested in Themis? Well, one possible reason is that Russia is lagging behind in the development of its own ground robots, Russia wants to study the robot's technology and reverse engineer it for its own use. Themis has a hybrid diesel-electric drive, a modular design, and a low or zero noise signature, which make it a valuable asset on the battlefield. While Russia has been experimenting with various robotic platforms, such as the Uran 9, the Seratnik, and the Marker, none of them have reached the level of maturity and versatility of the Themis. The Russian robots have faced technical issues, such as poor mobility, limited autonomy, and unreliable communication. They have also been criticized for being too heavy, too noisy, and too vulnerable to enemy fire. Another possible reason is that Russia is worried about the potential impact of the Themis robots on the balance of power in the region. The Themis robots could give the Ukrainian forces an edge over the separatists, who rely mostly on conventional weapons and tactics. The Themis robots could also pose a threat to the Russian forces, who have been covertly operating in the area. The Themis robots could detect and engage the Russian troops, or provide valuable intelligence to the Ukrainian side. A third reason is that Russia wants to undermine the credibility and reputation of Milrem Robotics and the Edge Group, which are both competitors and potential threats to the Russian defense industry. By capturing or destroying Themis, Russia could damage the confidence and trust of the robot's customers and partners, and discourage other countries from buying or cooperating with the Estonian and UAE companies. But how likely is Russia to succeed in its bounty hunt? Well, not very, according to Milrem Robotics. The company's director of communications, Gerd Hankwitz, said that he was not worried about the Russian reward, and that he saw it as a form of free marketing for his product. He also said that he had complete confidence in the Ukrainian army to use and protect Themis from potential threats. So far, there have been no reports of any Themis being captured or destroyed by the Russians, despite the ongoing clashes and airstrikes in eastern Ukraine. Click here to watch my new video about 1x EVE robot powered by OpenAI which is a humanoid robot that can perform a variety of tasks autonomously, without any human intervention or guidance.